when they actually came in and told us the diagnosis after um, we had done an x-ray, I mean, there's nothing that can prepare you for that. They're not on the radar, um, just absolutely devastating and overwhelming. Today, Sammy is a healthy, happy fourth grader. Just a few years ago, he was treated for a type of cancer called neuroblastoma with something called MIBG therapy. U Chicago Medicine's Comer Children's Hospital is the first medical center in Illinois to offer this special therapy to treat kids with neuroblastoma. MIBG therapy is not painful. It's infused into typically a central line of some sort or an IV that the patient already has. Uh, and the patient really doesn't feel anything after the um, drug has been infused into the IV. MIBG transports radioactive iodine to the neuroblastoma cells. The radioactive iodine then attacks the cancer cells. The kids have to stay in a special lead-lined room where they have limited contact due to the levels of radiation from the treatment. Terry Dotson works in the Office of Radiation Safety and counsels parents on the procedure. It seems like a really scary topic. Um, so we explain uh, radiation to them and um, that it's actually found everywhere. But in this case, their child is receiving a higher dose. So again, we give them tools that they could use while they're in the room and interacting with their child so they can keep their exposure as low as possible. Parents have limited contact with the child initially and they're checked for radiation exposure. Just about every surface in the room is covered in plastic or paper that is disposed of after the treatment. Lead shields are also used in the room when parents or caregivers come in. The radiation rapidly leaves the child and parents can have longer visits as the days go by. The first day, obviously, the child will be the most radioactive and from then on, um, the radiation gets excreted through their sweat, saliva, and urine. So really, it drops pretty rapidly, um, typically about um, half by every day. A lot of work is done to prepare the parents and the kids for the treatment. Education and communication are key to a successful outcome. The family is told what will happen during the procedure and what to expect throughout the entire treatment. I know it sounds frightening to hear that a child is radioactive, but uh, we, as I, we measure the radioactivity very closely and in general the patients uh, clear their radioactivity within a couple of days and we've been doing this type of procedure now for more than two decades and we know how to deliver the drug safely. A child life specialist also works with the family to make sure their child has their favorite toys and activities to keep them busy during their stay. Kids love the walkie-talkies they can use to talk to mom and dad. Many kids take the process in stride, while sometimes parents can be more challenging. It's actually much harder on them than it is the kiddos. I think ki the patients, um, like I said, we try to really support them as far as what their needs are, what, they're, what they like, and we try to really prepare, uh, prepare them for um, staying isolated in their room and get them those activities. A caring staff enjoys working with families during these difficult times. They know a kind word goes a long way. Just knowing that they feel like they have somebody that they can trust their child with has been um, very, re very rewarding. Um, and the kids are great. They're super, they're super resilient and it's been fun getting to know a lot of them as well along with their parents. U Chicago Medicine continues to be a leader in MIBG mm -hmm. therapy and other pediatric cancer treatments. What I really love about the University of Chicago and Comer Children's is really the multidisciplinary um, work that's being done here, particularly in the solid tumor group that I am part of. Uh, we work together really closely with our surgeons and um, radiation oncologists and amongst our group of physicians to bring the best care to our patients. After MIBG therapy, Sammy is doing well. He's a great example of the difference this innovative therapy can make in a child's life. Sammy was actually our very first patient who ever received MIBG therapy here at Comer Children's Hospital. And the treatment went very smoothly and uh, Sammy tolerated it beautifully and he continues to do very well today. He's doing great, feeling really good, living life as a very normal nine-year-old boy, played baseball this summer, doing great and just living a really <laughs> full life right now.